Been a long time, guys. What's going on, guys? This is Giga Space Blob, and I am finally back for more Splatoon. Now, I've got some things I need to clear up. So the next level is right here. This one right here, and it says I've already completed it. And with it, it already has a cutscene, and after you see the cutscene, it changes all in-game stage dialogue. I had already recordings of this, and the file got corrupted, so I'm gonna have to record it again. But, I luckily did manage to get screenshots of each text box in the cutscene, so I'll be able to show it before we get into the stage. Because I want you guys to see this. It, it'll make more sense if I show it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the cutscene. Crackle, cursed crackle. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello! You're holding that upside down. Oh. Agent 1 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon reporting in. Agent 2 also reporting in. We got an SOS from Captain Cuttlefish. Are you Agent 3? Don't worry, we're your new support team. Yep, we're taking over for the Captain. Well, we're gonna try. But we've gotta hurry, or the Captain is, good, is as good as sushi. Let's roll, Agent 3. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's go. <clears throat> this is gonna be the first time I'm using my new... Yes, I know my GameCube. My game, GameCube? My GamePad battery's running low. You'll find that Zapfish Agent 1. This is the first time I'm using my new monitor to record, and I can't hear the audio of the game, so... That is going to be a great pain for me because Splatoon's soundtrack is beyond godlike. If I find some way to out, if I find some way to work around that, then that'll be. I will most certainly do so because there's lots of things I'd like to say about the music for the future ones, and I think at as I said in my community post, as online um, maintenance is still going on in this, there probably won't be any more online matches. So it will more than likely just be stages that I'll be covering through the remainder of the game. But also, like I said, the show must go on. And that's what I do. And I'm gonna do. This thing has been in development hell for way too long. It must be finished! And that's exactly what I'm doing. <coughs> but now it's just kind of on hard mode because I can't hear the audio. Whoop! You guys cannot octobomb me, I will destroy your faces. Oh! Okay. He kinda destroyed my face, but he didn't destroy my face, he destroyed my armor. Wrong bomb. Uh, please excuse me if I kind of suck a little bit. It's been a while since I've played Splatoon 1, I've mostly been playing Splatoon 3, and I've been getting used to all of the new mechanics that that one has, like the squid rolls and stuff, so I'm trying to get used to having that not be a thing. So excuse me if I do any stupid plays. You. You. Go up. Get more armor. It also says I've already collected the sunken scroll, but I will at least show where it is. I won't be collecting it, but I'll show where it is. And good timing, actually, for me bringing that up. It's right over there. That floating platform right there is where it is. We got a cannon! I like cannons. I like it more when you don't need to worry about the ink consumption. Shoot the propeller! Shoot it! It's quiet. Too quiet. A total missed opportunity to make Agent 2 say, Be careful, it's a trap! Use bombs wisely! Agent 3. As my brother would do it. Use bombs wisely, Agent 3. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's the sunken scroll. Uh, don't confuse that voice with my uh, cuttlefish voice. It's just, um, it's a thing my brother likes to do. Octolings. 
Give me this. Destroy you. Yeah, yeah. Down goes the second course. And that's that's it. That's all the boxes. That's all the boxes. Now I actually need to show this the little fake zapfish, the one that looks like it's felt. Get a different animation. And he pats it too. <laughs> yes, I know my game pad. Game pad. That's what it is. <coughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show what the sunken scroll is meant to be there. Right here. This is a important piece of lore. Before the Great Turf War, there were amicable, amicable, amicable. I think that's how it is. Relations between the Inklings and Octarians. They couldn't have dreamed that the rising sea levels would force them to battle fiercely over the remaining territory. Now, if you pay close attention, that's that's Captain Cuttlefish on the right, and on the left is a character we're gonna meet later. So keep that in mind. But that's that's gonna be it for this episode. I am very sorry we can't do the online battles, but like I said, the show has to go on. If they get back up while I'm recording, that'd be excellent. But for the time being, we're just going to have to stick with this. So next time on Splatoon, we are going to be going... My gamepad just died. We're going to be going to the next level. Which is not this one. That was a mistake. Oh, it is that one. That was lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next time on Splatoon. Woo!